what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We have another collaboration tutorial today with Alessandro Boncio over at RenderKing.it and he came up with this great technique and I'm going to walk you through it. So we're going to make this wine bottle falling down into this cloth, but the nice thing is we're not using soft body dynamics or anything. This is all deformers, so it's really easy to set up and play with and you don't have to play with all that cloth stuff which can be a bit finicky. So let's jump into a new scene here and I have that wine bottle and this is animated just with a couple of keyframes falling down. So let's add a plane for it to collide with and you can use anything, you could use a cube if you want to, but we'll just use a plane for now. All right, let's add a collision deformer to our scene and we'll drag it inside of our plane and under the collision colliders tab, we need to drag that bottle. And you can see it made a little bit of a dent here and let's drag our plane up and down, you can see. So the collision um, deformer is really based on subdivision that makes a huge difference. So under the plane, let's kick up our subdivision to 50. And already we can see that we have some intersecting problems here if we drag this up and down. All right, so we're gonna go to our collision deformer under the solver. We can change that from intersect to outside and that's gonna solve a lot of those problems. And now let's see how far we can bring this up without breaking our scene here. Something right about there. All right, so that's looking very nice. And if you wanted to have an even better result, you could kick up the segments. So if you did something like 150, you can see what a really nice clean result you get here. And this is a really cool way to have a pack shot and kind of have your bottle sort of buried in something. Could be cloth, could be like a wall or a marble or something. It's a great way to display a product, but we're gonna go back down to 50 and we're going to add some ripples into here like cloth. All right, before we do that, we have to make this editable and we're gonna click on the plane and hit C to do that. And one other very important thing is we need to store the initial state here because in the beginning, we want this to be uh, to not have any wrinkles, to be completely flat. So we're gonna do that with a pose morph tag. We'll right click on our plane, go to rigging tags and go to pose morph. And under Pose Morph, we're going to be recording the points. So click on that, and it's already recorded our base pose, and now we're on to the second pose. So we can jump in and continue to work. All right, so we're gonna be using the Magnet tool, and a great way to get to it is just hit Shift-C, and then type in Magnet, and then hit Enter. All right, here's our Magnet tool. Here's all of our settings over here. Let's kick our radius up to 30, and let's click and drag. And you can see what the magnet tool does. It sort of pushes and pulls the different polygons. But it looks kind of dumb right now, so we're gonna have to add another deformer to make these smoothed out and look more like wrinkles. And we're gonna do that by using the smoothing deformer. So we'll add that, and we'll put that above the collision deformer. And in the uh, smoothing deformer, we're gonna change the type from smooth to relax. That's gonna gray out all of the options here and we're gonna click Initialize, which will open up those options again. All right, so let's go back to that Magnet tool. You can do that by clicking this button up here. This is the latest used tool. And then make sure you're highlighting the plane here. And then if we click and drag, you can see it's starting to get a bit more smooth. But let's go back to that Smoothing Deformer and play with some of these settings. Under Iterations, we can kick that up to, say, 50. And we're getting a lot closer here. Under Stiffness, we can drag that down and now we're getting more of a soft, kind of a rippling look. All right, let's go back to our plane here and to our magnet tool, and now you can just start sculpting and adding in different ripples, and you're gonna get a really nice uh, sort of fabric look. Another thing you can do is sort of push these polygons back into the bottle, and then it's gonna look like it's even further buried inside of this fabric, which is a very cool look. Just make sure you don't start intersecting. All right, so you could play around with the magnet tool, the different uh, sizes of the paintbrush, and the weight and power and all that kind of stuff, but we're gonna call this good enough for now. And the great thing is that we have this pose morph tag, which has now stored that second pose. So if we go to the animate button and click it, we now have a slider for strength, and we can go from pose one to pose two. And if this is too strong, you can even just dial it back a bit. All right, so let's check this out. We have that really nice collision deformer, but the problem is we have all these wrinkles in the beginning, and we don't want those in the beginning. So let's click on our Pose Morph tag and let's add a third deformer and this one is going to be the Morph Deformer. Let's drag that on top of Smoothing. And you can see that in the Morph slot we already have that Pose Morph. If it's not there you can drag and drop that tag into here. Alright, so now this Morph Deformer is being driven by this Pose Morph tag. And the reason that we did this was because we want to use Fall Off. So now that we have the Fall Off tab we can click and hold and get all these different kinds of Fall Off. We're going to use a Capsule Field. 
So the nice thing about these fields is even though it's more, it's uh, nested in here, we can actually drag it out and it will still be in there. And now what we can do is drag it into the bottle. Then we can reset the PSR by hitting reset PSR and then hitting enter. And it's going to jump to where the bottle is. So now this fall off is following that bottle and we're gonna have to make a few little tweaks here. So we'll push it up here. And then we're gonna play around with the scaling and the taper just kind of to match the, uh, the bottle a little bit better. So something like that's gonna look pretty good. All right, and then we have one final thing. As it lands, we need to have this expand so that it's coming from the bottle and then expanding outward. So we're gonna expand it from probably right about here. We'll go into that capsule field and under top radius, under bottom radius, and under height, we're going to animate all three of these parameters. So we'll make a keyframe for those, then just go a few keyframes down and we're gonna animate these so that it grows on all of those wrinkles. So we'll do something like that and make a keyframe for all of these. All right, so let's take a look at that really quick. You can see that we have our collision deformer starting and then all of those wrinkles spreading out so it's looking really nice. And finally, to finish it all off, let's just throw the whole thing in a subdivision surface. And now we have ourselves a very nice result with some great fabric looks. Hope you guys found that useful and you found some new techniques to play around with. If you make anything cool, please tag me. I would love to see it. And another huge thanks to Alessandro Boncio for sharing. Thanks for supporting our site. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.